Just two left then. Goal number four. Let's see that. No, I, I don't know what he said before. They had to cut the screen to. I don't totally know as well. Win after tailgating within 22 metres for a whole minute. Then stay in first for 90 uninterrupted seconds. Is there only two of us in it, I wonder? Two laps. Win after tailgating for 60 seconds. Got a radio or engineer, didn't I? Trouble is, this track it, it's so long, it eats all the service up on the car all the time. Sounds to me, I might be, I might be, uh, I might be pitying a couple of people here by the sound of this. Right, starting in. Fourth was a funny looking layout grid. Doesn't say who you got a tailgate though, does it? Thing is, if you tailgate him here, I'm not even close enough to him anyway. No, I don't want to tailgate you. Does that say you can go off track or not? I don't say anything about off track as well. I'm going to see if that with that 10, 10 seconds, whether it adds on to this one here. As he's a fast jag, I'll just try and stick with him for a little while, I think. It's not going to stick with him for very long, though. I still can't get over there, they've got that name Arthur. Out of all the, out of all the British names you could have, they pick Arthur. Perhaps he's an old cleaner or something at their factory. Old Arthur comes in the morning with the old broom, shoves the broom about, about five o'clock in the morning. Throw them off his pods, get there. Poor old Arthur, been there 35 years, I bet. Man and boy. I've got to be careful I don't go past him yet because then I wouldn't be able to hit that 60 seconds, would I? He's a bit slow around some of these corners. If I went past him, I'd be um, in trouble then. Now bear in mind this is um, just a goal to win the car, with no prizes for being pretty or anything, not that I'd win any for that anyway, but... Common sense tells you that you need to go, when you go past this bloke here, you need to pit him, because it will make life a lot, lot easier. Because it's going to be breathing down your neck for. And I got a bit of lead for a minute and a half, that said, didn't it? 90 seconds. So where am I going to pit him? I need to pit him when he's going a bit of a decent speed, but not. Obviously, not too slow because he'll recover pretty quick. Right, it's a two and a half minute. lap roughly, maybe it will be quite nice. I do get a few comments back, ah you shouldn't do that and stuff, ah well cobblers, it's a goal and I do it the way I think that it's a sensible way to do things. 
Well, you could have him breathing down your neck now for... Obviously, like, you know, the whole of the second lap, really. But this way, you can enjoy the scenery. Sit yourself back, snuggle back in that old chair a bit. And I'll just have a little drop of my tea along this street while I'm, uh, while I'm here. Lovely, that's fella. Always, always have time to see along that straight. Utmost importance. Many proper race drivers, they do dial things like check their oil pressure that along the long straight. Me, settle myself back, have a drop of tea. This is the other, the other tea stop along here. That's me two points for having a drink of my tea normally. As I'm near the end, I can finish it off after the uh, after these few corners here. So, only got one goal to go quite easy today. In fact I can only really remember one goal that's been difficult, that was that goal four a couple of days ago. That was quite tight doing that but I can't think of any other sort of, apart from me where I've been, it's just like losing concentration, not even thinking what I'm doing or reading a goal and then seeing if it's actually right on the wording and it's not been pretty easy all the way through but the car is nice and steady to drive most of the time easy car to drive it's not too fast it's quite grippy so it's pretty pretty easy car to drive 